So, have you now confirmed I'm here on appointment? You cannot come in. So, Chief is upstairs in his room. And he said that he should come up. So when you... But don't worry. I know his room. I've walked there before. Okay, that's just a protocol. Listen, my guy. There is... There is a way I do my own business. And if you are going to run any business with me, you must learn how to do things the way I do them. Yes, Mr. there? Come in. I will call you back. I'll just hold the phone and hold Good morning, Chief. Mr. my boy. Chief. How are you today? Good morning. I'm fine, Chief. <laughs> I can see that already. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Chief, remember I told you I will be traveling to the village? I said, let me come and take the measurements now. So I was expecting you to come yesterday to take the measurement because I know you are traveling this morning. Why didn't you come yesterday? Chief, I, I just wanted to do it so that from here I will go to the village. Okay, that's good. Okay, then let me not disturb you. You see, this is exactly what I want you to replicate. In almost all the rooms in that house. Don't make any mistake. Exactly this thing. Let us see. Let me let me just continue with this phone call downstairs. It's okay. Okay. Go ahead. Vincent. Pastor Mrs. Daskanga. Vincent, how are you? Vincent. Please sit. Thank you. So you're doing well? Thank you. Oh, I can see. That is why we serve him. And we continue to praise him, for he is the author and finisher of our fate. You're welcome. And congratulations. My husband told me you bought a new car. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's the reason I'm here too. You know, Daddy has blessed the car and I want your own blessings too. Because I know it will go a long way for me. So uh, this is the car key. I want you to Bless it for me. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Andy. Hold on to this. The good Lord will bless you. Amen. Vincent, I pray for you. I, I pray for you that this car 
will bring you blessings, joy, peace and happiness. I will see you. Vincent, this car may be your first, but it will not be your last. Amen. You will not have an accident with this car. Amen. You will go from places to places. You will go from greatness to greatness. Amen. You will go places, you will go far. May the good Lord bless you. I will see you. And bless you. Amen. I cover this car with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I use this key as a point of contact. Amen. I sink it. You will go from greatness to greatness. Amen. And so it shall be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good. Good. You're blessed. Thank you. You're blessed. You're Thank blessed. You. Thank you. You're blessed. I really appreciate it. Like I said. You will go from greatness to greatness. I receive. You will go from greatness to greatness. I claim it. Congratulations. Amen. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you. I like the fact that um, you're close to your Christian faith and you're close to church. Thank you. There is a reward for those that remain steadfast. You will go from places to places. I claim it. Yeah, but I'm a sick. Thank yes. you, Mark. Thank Vincent. you. Vincent, good. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are on to another episode of Build Your Home. And today, we are going to be talking about building the home and a woman's role in it. I am still your host, Pastor Mrs. Sandra Daskanga. Now today, like I said, we're talking about building the home, a woman's uh, role in it. If you look at your Bible, turn your Bibles to Proverbs 14.1, it says, the wise woman builds a home with her own hands. The foolish one tears hers down. Um, without further ado, we'll go straight into the nitty gritty of the show. Now, I will tell you the things that you need to do as a woman to ensure that your home and your house does not crumble. It's common knowledge, we know, that you cannot give what you do not have. So first of all, as a woman, you must take care of yourself. You must have value in order to impact that value into your home. Your home, I'm talking about both your husband and your children, if you have them. Um, take good care of yourself. Pay attention to what you look like. Cook when you need to cook. Take care of, put your family first. Put your husband, put your children. Listen, being submissive does not mean that you're stupid. It means that you understand what the Bible has said you must do, and you are doing it. Inasmuch as I hate to get involved in religion, but a lettered man like you should understand that this so-called Pentecostal movement is just a mere business. Smart men and their wives are feeding fat on you people. I don't understand why you people are not saying this. What is wrong with you? No, why is it that you, you can't talk without mentioning churches? Why can't you leave church alone? I can't leave church because I am the church. You gather before those so-called human altar, set up by the, the, the so-called general overseers. Why are you people not asking questions? Look at you. You, you talk as if you are in any way better. Are you better? What do you mean by that? Everything! Look at you. As young as you are, you've been married twice. Yet, you're not living with anyone. Not just one. You're not living with one. Come on, one. You're not. So why are you talking? <laughs> and what has my relationship with my ex got to do with the issue under discussion? Everything. Listen. Idigo, you're my brother. You're my friend. In fact, my best friend. If only you will heed to my advice and follow me to see my pastor's wife. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that woman is the best woman of God in this world as I'm talking to you. If that woman should cancel you and pray for you, everything will turn around for your good. In fact, God can use her as a point of contact to that rightful wife you live with and have peace all the days of your life. Just listen to me and follow me. Follow me, you will, you will, you will enjoy it. What I'm enjoying now, you will enjoy it. You know, the more you speak, I see a friend who will never recover from this mental slavery. 
And let me tell you something. The collapse of my marriages has absolutely nothing to do with religion. I am still friends with my ex. We parted ways as matured people because we eventually discovered that we cannot live forever as man and wife. And you think God cannot solve this problem? Are you the only one who has found himself into this kind of mess or this kind of problem? No! But God healed them. My brother, embrace God and see what God will do in your life. Why am I living under this illusion that you see me as an anti-god? Give me a break. The almighty Chukwo Kikea Biyama is far different from your religion. That is the point I am making. You think you seriously impossible? No, 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 no. Visit. You are the impossible one. That's why people like you will see the truth and refuse to speak out. I want people like you to understand that religion has outlived its usefulness. So the earlier people like you invent our spirituality, the better for every one of us. Okay. Then some kisses. Mm -hmm. You were... Uh... You were saying something about uh, marriage. Now I'm ready to listen to you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Actually, I'm ready to get married. Yes, and I sought for you because I want you to partake in the search. You're a good woman. Yes, uh, God has been using you, in particular in this our church. You've been doing wonderful things. In fact, you've been giving us joy. You've been helping us in so many things. And I know that through you, I will, I will find a good woman like you who will give me joy all the days of my life. So that is why I want you to help me. Please, find me that woman that will help me. And I know when you see anyone that is well brought up, you will know. Vincent, you've made the right decision. And may the good Lord help you in this search. Uh, but first of all, I'll give you my email address. You send an email to me. Tell me who your ideal woman is and, uh, you know, like what you like in a woman. Then we'll take it from there. I'll give you, I'll give you tips. I'll give you guidelines you, know, you must follow. And then we'll start our search from there. Mm. But the good Lord will guide you. Yes, in order to help you find the ideal life partner. Thank you, man. I know, I know it. I, I know you're not going to fail me. I know you will help me. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you. Um, let us pray. Stretch forth your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, your son Vincent has come here in search of a life partner. Father, may this journey be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A virtuous woman that would give him peace, joy, and happiness. Amen. That Heavenly Father, he will not fall prey or fall into the hand of the devil. Father, that the devil will flee at his very sight. Amen. He will find a woman who is befitting of his status, of his life, and of his Christian faith. Amen. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for answered Amen. prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The good Lord be with you, guide you and protect you. Seriously, guy, you are a huge disappointment. How could you get a woman involved in a matter as serious as this? Maybe I may need to correct something here. That woman you're calling a woman is not just a woman. She's my pastor's wife. Automatically my pastor. You know one thing, I have this belief that one day that woman is going to find me a good woman. A woman that will be my wife. In fact, a good woman like her. I will never be amongst those people who say our people are blinded. Because people who are blinded, I mean people like you, actually blinded themselves. How do you mean? No, look at you, who is blind. He's not calling me the blind person now. 
Listen, I may be blind to you, but I surely know that your so-called pastor's wife is a woman who needs help. What useless help? Don't worry. You will find that pretty soon. You who is talking about her? You who has been buried in alcohol. In fact, you buried yourself in this alcohol and you're talking about help. Don't you know you're the one that needs help? You need to be delivered out of this alcohol. That is the most important thing you need right now. In fact, that is the help you need. I just wish that this alcohol is the problem you have. I will be so satisfied. Dude. Nemo. Mm -hmm. No inspiration. Nyala. Considering who you are to me, the arguments I've had because of you, I'm devastated to see you here like this. How have you seen me? Are you now going to judge my private life? I've not judged you. I'm only expressing how I feel. Well, I believe you're old enough to know that what happens behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. Do not tell anyone what you've seen here today. Not yet, ma. Excuse me. Uh, listen, I am going to settle for 4060. The reason I am giving out this business is because I am very busy this time around. I cannot execute it. And I'm looking for somebody who can competently execute the business. Listen, I have a lot of people who can execute this business for me. I remembered you because of the long business relationship we have shared over the years. So my permanent offer is 60 for me and 40 for you. I want you to shake it out and see whether it is deal or no deal. Okay, good. I am going to send you every single detail before the close of business today. We can pick it up from there. Have a wonderful day. Sorry about that. That's a business call. What was the meaning of this now? Eh? Why didn't you tell me someone was coming over? What if I came out of the bathroom naked? I am so sorry about that. I never knew he would be coming this early. Yes, we had an agreement that he would come to take measurement in my room. You know, I am erecting this mansion in my village and I needed him to come and take measurement of the wardrobe in my room because I want to, I want to replicate the same wardrobe in almost all the rooms in the mansion. That is what he came to do. I, I never knew he would be coming early. I'm sorry about that, my dear. It's okay. So why are you dressed as if you are leaving, carrying your bag? I'm actually leaving. My husband, um, my husband called, so... I don't understand. You told me your husband will not be in town for the rest of the week. Oh, oh yes, I, I know, but something came up. Wow. And I was actually thinking I will spend the whole of today with you. I even had a counseling for no, no. Don't worry, I'll give you double fold. You know now. <laughs> Beautiful, Mrs. Daskanga. <laughs> you know, I am missing you already. Me too, Chief. <laughs> okay, then let me leave you to run along. I, All right. Mm -hmm. I am going to credit your account. <laughs> Chief, you deserve another one. Mm. You are the best. <laughs> you are simply the best. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye bye. Okay, then. Bye, Chief. Expect it. Something good. All right. 
Beautiful. <laughs> Bye. Ah, beautiful woman. What a beautiful woman indeed. Yeah. My boy, my boy, I, I believe you know why I'm giving you this business. It's because I trust you. There are so many other people that can do this, but I believe you are the best. I want everything in that house completed in the next three months, both the inside and the outside. All other people that are working in all other departments, I am so certain that they will not disappoint. I wouldn't want my boy to be the person that will disappoint eventually. No problem, Chief. I will deliver. Good. So when you get to the village, you take all your measurements and send me your quotations. I'm going to make a deposit immediately. Okay. I'll help you on my way now. Drive safe. I will. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hello, what up, my guy? I'm not happy at all. Seriously, I'm not happy. What happened? Are you in the village already? Yeah, or have you forgotten I, what I told you about going to Chief's house to go and measure something before heading to the village? Oh, that is true. I completely forgot. Are you still at his place? <sighs> my brother, I'm not there, but you won't believe what I saw with my eyes. You're right after all. That woman is not what she makes us to believe she is. Which woman and what are you talking about? Mrs. Daskanga, my pastor's wife. I saw her in Chief's bedroom. In fact, she spent the night there. Hold on, listen. Just tell me you're joking. How can I be joking with a thing like this? I'm telling you what I saw with my eyes. In fact, she was shocked when she saw me there. Are you serious? Now, what happened? What did Chief say? Uh, Chief didn't say anything, though he has already left the room for me to do my job before the door to the bedroom got opened. And it was Mrs. Daskanga. In fact, she warned me never to mention this to anyone. She's an idiot to have said that to you. I'm glad you opened up to me. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Comrade, please. I don't want you to mention this to anybody. Remember, the innocent man doesn't know what this woman is doing behind him. And that is the reason you should let him know on time. So that he would save himself. Because there is absolutely nothing that kills a man than the infidelity of his wife. I don't want to go into all that now. In fact, I'm heading to the village, okay? When I come back, we'll see. It's okay. This whole thing is a mess.
What if he decides to tell someone? This will not only ruin the church, it will destroy my marriage. Oh, Sandra, what have you done? How are you? I am not fine, Lady. Why are you always doing this, Idigo? You are my ex. We are done, as in done. I have moved on, and you have done the same. Why must you always come when you are not feeling fine? That's because we are not fully done. I don't know what that means. I would explain that when we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, I want to ask you a question. Do you have anything to do with Mrs. Daskanga of Power From Above Ministry? Are you serious? You are now making inquiries on women of God. That means God has finally touched your stone heart. So tell me about it. <laughs> I asked a question which you have refused to answer. Can you at least answer the question? Um, well, I don't know anything about the woman. But I know she's a very powerful woman of God with a very strong television ministry. Many women who attend her counseling say she's indeed a very powerful woman of God. So why do you ask about her? Just like many of them, she is not what she claims to be. What does that mean? Did you see her doing anything? I did not see her, but uh, someone very close to me did. In fact, a member of her church. And I want you to understand this. Our misunderstanding has absolutely nothing to do with her teaching and personality. We'll talk about this more. Meanwhile, I want to see you because we can discuss this over a bottle of wine. Now I get it. Always looking for a way to get out with me. Listen, if you're looking for a woman to be with, go somewhere else. Rubbish. Oh, yeah. yeah. My lovely ex, you still call her a powerful woman of God. Powerful woman of God behind Chief Okundo's closed door. See that man? He dares not tell your husband anything. And no one will even believe him because of your public representation. Are you sure? You should have told Chief. Eh? He would have threatened him. Tina, all I wanted to do was to run away. The first thing that came to my mind was how to escape. I had to run as fast as my leg would carry me. Tina, please. Okay, okay, calm down. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax. Okay. We will manipulate things if he tries to act funny. What is the next line of action? Tell me, let us start. You need to relax. Come here looking for me. No. Okay. Please go back to your post.
I am so scared. I know Tina has asked me to relax, but I also know I have lost my self-respect before Vincent. My major problem is, I don't know his next line of action. How am I sure he has not mentioned a word of it to someone? And this whole thing is not even my fault. It's my husband's fault. He's so carried away with all these church activities that he forgets that I have feelings and needs. Face like this. Huh? Can't you postpone your trip? You just came back yesterday and you're leaving again today. We hardly spend time together. Darling. You're my wife. And you of all people should understand these things more. This is one of the many sacrifices you should have to make. I have his calling upon me to preach his gospel to the people. The people need me. Which means I'll always be your way. But that is not to say that I will ignore you. Okay? I will make up for it, I promise you. Okay, have a safe trip. How can I? When you're yet to smile. Please. Come on. You know that I love you. I know that after God, you come first. Please smile. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Hmm? You want to welcome me to the car? work so seriously mm. and it's affecting us without him even knowing it can you believe that for the past six months my husband has been going from one ministerial conference to one pastoral event do you know that we haven't had intimacy for six months was that the reason you called me here you know i do not like visiting your house i mean once your husband sees me he starts saying john chapter three oh no i don't want someone preaching to me I love my life. I love exactly how I'm living my life. I don't need all that, okay? I don't need all that. But seriously, Tina, don't you think you need to revive your Christian life? And be like you? Oh, please, cut me some slacks. Babes, I understand how it feels. But if only you can just know the truth behind all this. What truth? That your husband is having another woman. God forbid! My husband is a pastor. An anointed man of God. A man who has got on my foot. <laughs> have, you, have you asked me the real reason I stopped going to church? Why did you stop going to church? Apostles, reverends, pastors, bishops, whatever. They're all the same. Whenever they see me, they, they clamor to have me. Babes, they don't even hide it. Do you know I prefer to do things with these normal people than these so-called men of God, in quotes? And um, Tina, my husband is different. You're living in a fool's paradise, girl. 
Open your eyes now. What's up? Listen, a full-blooded man cannot stay up to six months without mating a woman. He's not giving it to you. That's because he's having a lot of it outside. Man, the man is digging it outside. Tina, why are you telling me this? Men do not have the monopoly of having extramarital affairs. We all eat the same thing and our bodies make the same calls. Girl, if he's not giving it to you, you go outside and solve your problems ASAP. I'm fine. I just tried to connect you on video call, but you didn't pick. Yes, I'm good. It's just that the church misses its head pastor. Your assistant is trying though, but you know, there's nothing as lifting as the head pastor of the church. All right, my love. You're going to regret this. Yes. It's his fault. Yes. The skanker has never picked up my video call. I'm sure he's with a woman. Or even women. It's all his fault. Onye, I did not hear you just say that. But you heard me. I know you very well, Idigo. You are not a busybody. So why bother yourself with what two adults did behind closed doors? Oh, Inye, don't tell me that. We are not just talking about any adult. We are talking of someone who parades herself as a pastor's wife with a television program. The mere fact that she is living a life different from what she preaches is something serious and we need to call her out. And by calling her out, what will you record as your king? At least all the people that she has been deceiving would have a reason to ask themselves an important question. These pastors and their wives are just business people who have absolutely nothing to do with holiness of life. I've been saying this, why is it that people like you have refused to listen? <laughs> but wait a minute. <laughs> Is this possibly the reason you asked me to come see you? Well, you know, why are you seeing this as nothing? Now that you are thinking straight, I want to hook you up to someone. He will take proper care of you. Not just in bed, but he will lavish you with money. Babes, you will make money and become richer. Listen, no man is worth dying for, be it man of God or whoever. Let me even ask, who is a man or woman of the devil? You know, since you came to my house, I've been thinking about it. Hmm. I don't understand why he suddenly stays away for so long. Hmm. He acts as though he doesn't have blood running through his veins. Mm -hmm. Do you know I even tried to call him on video call and he didn't pick. Why will he pick when he's busy smashing a woman on bed? Babes, if I tell you what I have seen in the hands of these so-called men of God, you will lose your faith in fellowship. I have decided to leave these men of God and concentrate on my ever merciful God. I am so wounded right now. Why, why didn't I see this before now? It's not too late to start anything. My happiness is that you've, you've opened your eyes. I will take you somewhere tonight. 
babes, I want you to see the other part of life. Babe, if you see that life, you will not want to go back to your old ways. What do you think I should confront him? Confront him for what? Why would you want to do that? Allow him to keep being foolish while you enjoy yourself. You see this our God? <laughs> this God is a merciful God. He is a powerful God. He forgives us of our sins. Mercinde. Ah. Mercinde. I can see you're in the spirit. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You are welcome. I'm surprised. What? I'm surprised we ended up in a hotel room. Weren't you meant to at least go to like a, a private residence wh where my reputation will be secured? There is no place more secure than this place. This is not just a hotel. This is a coded place where the high and mighty meet to mingle. There's a way those um, receptionists were looking at me. It was funny. Come on. Those receptionists, they were only admiring how beautiful you look. Should I be the one to tell you you look astonishingly beautiful? I mean, astonishingly charming after two kids. So you think they won't breathe a word of this to anyone? Why would they? I mean, those receptionists walking here, they can't say a word to anybody. Calm down, relax. Cheer up, Chief will soon be here. I don't, I, I don't know how, how else will I explain myself? I said I no longer invest in politicians. The reason is very simple, because they are a bunch of liars. They will never say what they mean, and they will never mean what they say. I don't deal with such people. You don't get it? Listen. The only thing I will promise you is um, I will go back and study the proposal one more time. Because they're, the kind of money they are calling is not the money somebody will just bring out. So I need to study the proposal one more time and see if that is what I want to get involved with. And I want you to do me one favor, please. Get those guys in that political camp to stop sending me all these endless reminders. I am not daft. Okay? I will get back to you guys when I am ready for you guys. That's a promise. Thank you. Sorry, ladies, I just needed to take care of these guys that have been calling me all day. It's okay. Chief, Chief! <laughs> the business tycoon himself. Tina, the lady, <laughs> Chief. You are the one who knows everybody. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> and I am believing that the, this beautiful lady sitting down here is the one you told me about. Exactly. Babe, this is Chief Opundu. Ogili <laughs> Nice, nice to meet you, sir. Ezibo Mumade. Her voice and her presence has this element of peace. Yes. <laughs> Trust me, I have, I have this peaceful way of handling peaceful people like you. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Yes. Mm. You have not called her for anything? Um, Chief, uh, let me just get to it. Please. Okay. <laughs> feel free. Let's Come play on, play. feel free. Chief Let's is a very play. nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like this woman. I know. <laughs> Welcome. Um. What's, what's the problem with you? And why are you dragging me here? Does it mean you did not notice what happened? What happened? Madame Tina did not leave this hotel with that woman. That means she's spending the night here with that man. Is there any problem with that? And moreover, here is built so that people will come in and sleep. That's the woman pressure who ministers on the television every Wednesday. And she's spending the night with another man in a hotel. It's none of your business. 
she's here in a hotel with another man in Shifa Kondo's room. And you're telling me it's none of my business. Say, if the manager hears this thing you are saying, he will fire you immediately. And let me just warn you, don't you ever drag me to this corner to discuss nonsense. What is wrong with everybody say? There is enough to talk about. Babes hate me with the gist as if he hurts. It was okay. Five million? Babes! And I wasn't even expecting it. Come on. I mean, a man that enjoyed his woman last night should take care of her. You're right, but um, honestly, personally, I was not expecting it. He just asked for my account number and hmm, he sent me five million. You know, I'm so happy hearing this. Now that you've tasted the other side of life, you now know that a woman's body is a money-making machine. Uh, 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 uh. Don't say because I've started doing this now, you want to give me someone else. I am not interested in meeting any other man. Eh? Come on, Sandra, now. If you make yourself too available for a man, he will take you for granted. Well, I, I know I know you know better. I know you know this is your terrain. But I honestly do not want to meet any other person. I have my reasons. <coughs> Chief Okwondo is a woman killer. I am sure he brought down your pot of orgasm, babe. <laughs> I never knew that lovemaking could be this sweet. I tell you. He was nice. I trust Chief. I trust him. <laughs> okay, now that um, the pastor's wife is good to go, I cooked. Would you like to eat? Eat? No. I'm full. <laughs> Girl, you are bad. switched off. You're you are not at the church. No, I am so tired myself. It's fine, baby. I've been busy trying to settle one problem to another. I don't know what marriages are turning into okay, these days. Sit, 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 sit. <gasps> Take it easy. Sit, sit, sit. sit. Uh, uh. Honestly, I don't know what marriages are turning into. What is the problem? Before it was men. Now, women also have egos they are trying to protect. <laughs> eh? Both parties will not allow each other rest. Or even give way for one another. Well, that explains why we have a lot of uh, failed marriages these days. You know, the lack of tolerance, the lack of patience, the lack of understanding. I tell you. Between both parties, it's it's alarming. I tell you, this is what I've been telling women mm. since morning. Only God will help us. We'll have to keep praying for them. I have to. I have to. I'm so tired. You look very tired. I am. I was going to say, you look tired. I'm extremely tired. I just want to rest. Do you need some rest? No. Come on. Mm. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Let's go. I'm so <laughs> tired. It's fine. I've been talking since the morning. <laughs> I know. <laughs>
surprised to see me, my love. Jeff, reduce your voice. My workers are around. How about that? Look at you. You look pretty. Very pretty. Thank you, please. Sit. My husband is around, please. Listen, we really need to find a way around this. Because I've been coming here quite often. Chief, please. Don't put me in trouble. Just leave. I'll come to you after. Not so fast, my dear. Why are you even tensed? What is the problem? You look so tensed. You won't understand. I do understand. You are worried about your environment. Come on. Let me tell you something. Even if your husband comes in here now as we are here, we are going to figure out something to tell him. He won't be able to figure out anything. We are not kids. Are we kids? Does this mean you are a very stubborn man? Because that's not good. Are you not stubborn and you are this big? Come on, you are stubborn too. I know. Any businessman in Nigeria who must survive must allow the spirit of stubbornness to possess him. If not, people will continue to take it for granted and they will squander his money. Stubbornness, my dear, is big business. Don't you understand that? So what are you doing? Chief, let's pray. Why are you feeling? Why are you eating from my plate? <laughs> Do you want some salad? Yes, darling. Okay. You know, <clears throat> I was, um, you know, I pray the kids um, will be on holiday very soon because I miss them. You should visit them. It's been a while. Yes, I was thinking so. Very soon, I will. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. They'll love it. And hey, a man, a great uh, philanthropist, came to the church and donated a sum of five million naira. For what? He said it's for the ministry. He wants us to help the people in the ministry and also maybe renovate a part of the church. Really? Yes. That is so kind of this man. That is really kind of this person. I'd love to know who this person is. Meet him if it's possible. I mean, this level of kindness, quite rare, if you ask me. Absolutely rare. Anyway, he dropped his contact. Okay. So I will um, organize a meeting for us. That would be nice. I'd love to meet him. Right? With a good Lord. Continue to bless him. Amen. And a big iron man. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I love it. Love it. Salad is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just add more for you. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, my wife told me about your kind gesture to the church. And I must say that I am very pleased with your kind gesture. And my prayer is that the Lord Almighty continues. Thank you, Pastor. He will bless you more. Actually, I came from a very humble Christian background. From that to the touch that I have, I feel it is natural for me to identify with the kind of things you do. I have not done anything to deserve the kind of blessing God has given me. So I feel it is only okay for me to appreciate God by giving out to people that are doing positive things like you. That is what I have done. You can always reach out to me anytime the need arises for anything you believe I can do. Ah, thank you very much, Chief. Yeah. Um, the pepper soup will soon be ready. <laughs> you don't need to worry yourself about me. I have a very strict diet pattern. I don't, I hardly eat outside. Seriously. Uh, but now that uh, we have known, I am actually thinking that uh, both of you, I, I, 
I want to know if it is possible for me to host both of you in my place. That would be very nice. Very, very nice. I must say, Chief, that you are indeed a good man. You know, when she mentioned you to me, I told her that I would, you know, like more clarity uh, as to who you are. But having you here and hearing you talk, I must say that I am satisfied. Thank you, Pastor. You know, I have uh, different foundations in town taking care of uh, the, the widows and the orphans everywhere. And I, I am thinking as a, as a man of God and a woman of God, if it will be possible for you to find time and uh, come with me to visit any of any of the places. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it will be a pleasure. Okay. And may the good Lord bless you. Thank you for allowing God to use you positively. May you never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, Chief. Master. I hope you don't mind. I am led to, to pray with you. Oh. Why should I mind? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a day like this. You're such a bad girl. What were you thinking? What did you expect? My husband has the details to that account. Hmm. You know, the bank app is actually downloaded on his phone. Hmm. I just told Chief and he played her long. That <laughs> man is a player. I know. But if he had not insisted, I would have introduced it to other people that would give you money. Please, 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 please. Let's not even push my luck any further. I still beg God for forgiveness every day. Hmm. I shouldn't be the one telling you about the goodness of God. He always forgives us. Please, can we not talk about this now? Okay, as Her Majesty pleases. But I'm glad your eyes are finally opened. I know. Can we go now? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for what you've done. 
I lift up our mama. Lord, I pray, oh God, just like Deborah, just like Esther, Lord, I pray, oh God, as she marks another year in this life, as she marks another year in ministry, Father, I pray that you preserve her, that you open up more doors of ministry for her. Lord, I pray that you bring in more openings. The Bible said, and a great and effectual door has been opened before me. But there are many adversaries, and every adversary to the door of ministry are opening for her. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you take it away in the name of Jesus. Every tree that is not planted of you in the cause of a fulfilling our ministry. Lord, I pray, oh God, let it be uprooted. Let every distraction be taken away. Let every distraction be taken away. Oh God, as your daughter marks her birthday, I am here offering my birthday gift in supplication. Lord, I pray that you keep her in focus. Lord, I pray that you keep her steady and consistent. Happy birthday, the woman of God. Oh, <laughs> oh you have surprised us with this visit. <laughs> Good morning, the highly anointed pastor of Daskanga. <laughs> How are you today, sir? I'm very well, you're welcome. <laughs> well, I saw it online that today is your birthday. So I decided to come early to give you this as my own little present for your birthday. I know how busy today we get, so I needed to come early to give you this before people will start trooping in. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 20 million naira! Why are you shouting? <sighs> you deserve more than this. I, I had wanted actually to get you an SUV. Then I decided again that she has a car already. And I know how your ministry preaches against wastage. So I felt it is only natural that I should give you this so that you and your husband can decide how best to use it. Oh. It's, it's my birthday gift. Honey, look at this. Thank you. Chief, I am short of words. However, I want to say a very big thank you. The Lord is indeed using you in so many good ways. Why? is actually a role model. Yes, yes. I have benefited immensely. I have watched all, almost all the episodes of our TV program. Well, many women are following. Even my wife is a fan. You have touched her life in so many ways. And I felt it's only natural that I should give you this. Oh, manage you. it. Manage it, please. Thank you. May the good Lord reward you bountifully. Amen. Amen. I should be living now. Already? Yes. I just kept to give her this. I know how busy this today will get. So you will settle down and enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bless you more. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Chief. Oh, oh God bless him. God bless him. What are we going to do with this? Enjoy yourself to the fullest. Okay? This is just the beginning. You see, Chief? Chief will give you lots of luxuries that you have never imagined in your life. And if he starts misbehaving, you move to someone else. No strings attached. My darling, how you plan this thing still baffles me. Do you know that my husband believes that Chief Okundu is a philanthropist that came to help the ministry? Do you have to mention that pretender in this discussion? Is it my husband you're calling a pretender? You don't have to feel bad about him. For that is what he is. Listen, if I tell you what he does whenever he travels, <laughs> babes, you will poison him. Yes. So come down, enjoy yourself with Chief. I mean, Chief, carry your matter for him. <clears throat> Gala. <laughs> 